morning, you guys. I wanted to like properly start this video. Um, so this video started, I was in Rosemary Beach. Lay down. Everyone lay down because you guys make a lot of noise. Okay, Winnie, lay down. Good girl. Coffee is so good this morning. You know when like sometimes you just make it really good? That's today. And it's so yummy. Um, also sometimes when I post Florida vlogs, some of you guys will ask like, what espresso machine I prefer like because my parents have one and then I have the one that's like a self-pack one I think that mine Is stronger tasting coffee. I feel like this one is a little bit watered down So if you're not huge into the coffee flavor um, I feel like my coffees always look a little bit lighter here and I don't do much more cream or milk than I would at home um, But both are great machines and I think that my parents one is a little bit more affordable than the self-pack one So I'll link both for you guys if you're in the market for a new coffee machine i wanted to start off the vlog it's gonna be probably just day at the beach and i'm so excited if you guys are confused um this past weekend which was the very beginning of this vlog i was in rosemary beach like seaside area um for my friend romeo's bachelorette trip and i didn't vlog i actually have taken like i think almost a full week now off of vlogging and it's been such a nice like refresh and then i got to my parents house um two days ago so now Two, two days later and it's been really nice to like kind of just take a break my mom and I were at the beach all day yesterday and um, I've just been doing some work we have wedding stuff tomorrow which will be in a new vlog so make sure you're subscribed it's gonna be we're meeting with all of our vendors and stuff and I'm excited to like share that with you guys because I feel like it's finally getting real the wedding is literally 47 days away and it's freaking me out it's getting a little too close, but I'm so excited. I, I feel like a lot of people are like, are you bridezilla yet? Or like, are you freaking out yet? And I'm honestly like, no, like I'm just so ready for it to be here and I'm so excited to marry Dylan. So um, I can't wait for you guys to see everything. Um, my mom and I also go to New York to go pick up my wedding dress soon, which I'm gonna vlog and all that fun stuff. So there's just a lot of fun, exciting content coming and I'm so excited to share with you guys. So if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. That's more of like daytime stuff um, in, in like real time. So when I post on my stories and stuff, you can kind of like keep up more with me over there. I've been having a lot of fun over on Instagram. Um, and what else? Um, I think that that was it. I just wanted to catch you guys up on kind of where I was. So I'm at my parents. I'm so excited. I love being here. I'm here for the rest of the week until Friday. Um, and then my mom and I go to Atlanta um, and then it's my bridal shower. So really fun stuff coming, you guys, I promise. I'm really excited. I'm also excited because I feel like a fresh start right now starting a new vlog and stuff because I took some time off and it was like much needed because I cranked out so many videos last week you guys would have seen and which I love. I And I was getting some comments saying, girl, take some time to yourself. And it's like, honestly, like people go to work every day from eight to five and come home and they do the same thing over and over. And I was like, you know what? I wanna pump out a lot of content for you guys because I just felt really passionate about it and motivated about it last week. And I'm glad a lot of you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of like a mini vlog week. I think I posted five days in a row. So um, that was really fun. I feel like I could do that again maybe sometime, like maybe after the wedding in the summer, that could be really fun to do. Um, but now we're like getting to the final countdown of the wedding and the wedding is May 14th if you're new. And I think I'm gonna be taking most of May off so you won't really see any videos from me But then starting back in June, you'll see all the wedding stuff um, But I think I'm gonna give myself almost like a full month off minus the first week of May I actually talked to my management like last week and we went over my May schedule just because We're gonna be on our honeymoon for a while and the wedding week And I just want to like really enjoy it and soak it all in because you spend so much time and money on a wedding And I don't want to be like worrying about posting a video, worrying about whipping a vlog camera out or anything like that. So I am gonna be like documenting the weekend and vlogging the wedding and the wedding week, but I don't wanna worry about editing it or working with brands or anything like that during that time. So that will be documented so you guys can see it, but it'll be coming in probably end, end of May or beginning of June early. So that'll be fun. Um, what else do I need to catch you guys up on? I feel like that's really it. I just made my coffee like you guys saw. I'm gonna go do a little walk with Winnie. I've been trying to be active every single day. I've been actually pretty good about like eating healthy, working out. Um, Winnie is here with my parents. My mom drove Winnie um, here while I was in at the bachelorette this weekend. And so now Winnie's here with me, which is really exciting. I'm gonna go take her on a little beach walk. She loves being here, you guys. And I don't get it because this whole house is hardwood floor and she is like not scared of it at all. She'll walk around everywhere. She's not scared. And I think it's because 
Finn's here and Finn shows her what to do. So look at my sunburned chest. Um, Finn shows her what to do and so I think we need to get another dog. But I don't know. <laughs> I want another dog, but I want another dog as good as Winnie. Like I got so lucky. I really don't even know what it's like to like train a puppy because Winnie never went to the bathroom in the house. She slept in her crate all night. Like she was the best dog. It's like literally unheard of because then I got Finn for my parents at the same breeder and Finn like wouldn't stop being in the house, cried all night. It's super crazy. Like I just got so lucky and I don't know how or why a lot of you guys ask me how I train Winnie and like how did I get her to like be so calm and I honestly don't know. She just was literally like an angel dog. So I think that that worries me about getting another dog, but it also makes me excited because I'm like, maybe Winnie can show the puppy how to be like a really good listener, but then the puppy will be also good for Winnie because Winnie needs someone in the house and stuff. So anyways, that won't happen for a while, but I just have been like thinking about it, don't I have been talking about it. So, but yeah, I'm gonna start the vlog. I'm gonna get ready. I have my sneakers here. I'm obsessed with these sneakers. You guys have been wearing them all weekend and they're so good. I'll link them. They're from APL. I got off a of Revolve, but I think that they're sold out, so I'll link them off of APL's website. I'm like a huge person about like trying different sneakers and seeing what I like best, and these have been like literally my favorite. I used to love the On Clouds, and those are good for like everyday wear, but when it comes to working out and like actually like going to the gym and stuff, these are so freaking good. So if you're looking for a new sneaker, and then also wanted to talk about this hat because I posted on my Instagram and I got so many questions about where it's from, and it makes me laugh because. When we were in Rosemary this weekend for Romeo's Bachelorette, we, oh, is someone here? Oh yeah, my dad. I got this hat from a bike shop and I saw it in the window, like we weren't renting bikes from them, but it's called Frankie's and I thought it was cute because it kind of like, honestly reminded me of like Frankie's bikinis and I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. And then I really loved like the rope and the green color. And then it says 30A on the side and then on the back it says Frankie's bike shop. And a lot of you guys, I guess, message them and order the hat and now I think it's sold out but um it's a really cute hat if you're ever in Rosemary go to Frankie's or it's actually in the hub it's called if you go if you're, if you're ever in the hub it's like seaside area check them out it's like a big old trucker hat so I'm gonna put this on I put like my sunscreen on and everything already for the day you guys are probably like wondering why my face is so oily but I have sunscreen everywhere and we're gonna go do a little walk with Winnie girl and my set that I'm wearing is from set active it's so cute I can show you guys sport body collection these are in size small for reference I don't know the color but I can link it for you guys and it's like the one shoulder bra which is so cute and then the biker shorts so I'm gonna wear these we're gonna go and walk all right dad just got home from Sam's Club I think he went so I'm gonna help him put some groceries away I thought I would show you guys really quick before I went to do a little beach walk this is the best blue cheese. If you have a Sam's Club membership, this on salads with like French onion dressing is incredible. Um, got some mushrooms. My dad is like such a good cook. So every time I'm at the beach, it's always really nice to have good meals. Um, salami tray. We've got some buffalo style chicken breast. I love this for like cold cut sandwiches. We've got, oh, this is the best. If you guys ever buy just like a quarter of a ham, like thick sliced, and then you fry it up for breakfast, like a ham, egg, and cheese biscuit or something in the morning, it's so good. So we've got that. I'm also going to make homemade salsa, so I can show you guys that tonight. I'm going to make it. We've got just a ton of veggies. We've got maybe spinach, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. We've got green beans, a ton of, um, what is this, ground meat. Danny loves tacos, so we always like keep that on deck. And then what else we've got? Tortillas for tacos. Oh, this is the dressing I was telling you guys about. It's so good. With blue cheese on like a steak salad. It's incredible. Fun fact, my dad used to work for Ken, so big Ken's family over here. Oh, these are the best. These crackers right here are literally the best. They're from Publix, and they're always buy one, get one, so check them out.
the home and put on the sneakers. I'm gonna do some workout on the deck. I love the boy. Tell them where you just came I from. Tata. The doctor. I talk, 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 talk. Are you sick? No, I'm not good, baby. Oh, ice in the veins. Show them. What? Show them your arm. Why is my arm like this? Bang! You got blood taken? Yeah. So now you're gonna run out of blood. I'm not, I'm not dying. <laughs> you wanna be in the vlog? The vloggy vlog? <laughs> I did a little workout, which went very well. I'm feeling like so motivated today. I'm not, not sure why. I did a workout on the front, like kind of cardio, and then I did like a little bit of arms. <laughs> Can you not, please? Like you bark every five seconds. Took Winnie on a walk, did all that fun stuff, and I'm about to get ready for the beach. My mom's like packing the cooler and stuff downstairs, and I'm gonna put my swimsuit on, but I'm gonna make a little drink for the beach. I'm gonna bring, this is my water drop. Um, I talked about them before you guys. I'm obsessed with their stuff um, I feel like sometimes I get sick of just drinking regular water, which is why I love water drop I've been taking their little um, micro drink tablets for about Three months now. I always have them stocked in my drawer. I bring them with me when I travel I have four different little ones with me and I think I'm gonna take the boost. It's always my go-to I love this one water drop is just the real taste of natural fruits and plants to enhance the best drink in the world Which is just water and what I love is that they are hundred percent sugar-free vegan gluten-free without sacrificing any taste They taste so good to me. It's just something to like spice up your water if you're oh, if you're someone that gets like tired of just drinking water plain water every day I love putting one of their little tablets into my water. So they also have so many cute like tumbler glasses, cups, glasses, and stuff like that on their website. Um, I have this, which is the one that I bring on the go. It's just like a little steel um, can, and this will be great for the beach. It'll keep my drink nice and cold. And then I also have some like white glass cup ones that you guys have probably seen me use at the house. So normally I'll have this like after my workout, like I just did here or halfway through my day if I'm wanting like something refreshing, but sick again of just like plain water, like I said, um, my goal has been lately drinking a ton of water the wedding is quickly approaching and I feel like whenever I have a lot of water my skin and just like my overall health I just feel good you guys know like water is like the best thing for you like we need water to survive so water drop just enhances the flavor of water and all good great for you ingredients so you can't really go wrong I have a little code for you guys I'll put it here on the screen I'll also have it linked down below for you the code is Rachel Ratke 15 and it gets you 15% off your entire order with water drops so check them out grab some cups grab some of their micro drinks they have so many good flavors and different ones so they all taste really really yummy and I'm sure you guys will love especially with like spring and summer coming up it's like a great little fun thing to have during the day after your workout in the morning with your coffee like you can really have it whenever it makes me drink more water throughout the day so check them out again it's rachel racky 15 and gets you 15 percent off your entire purchase with water drop and that's valid for three weeks so if you're interested check them out now i'll have it linked down below for you guys so All right, we just came up from the beach. I'm gonna make some homemade salsa. We're gonna do tacos tonight, and I like this to sit in the fridge for like an hour or two. It's around like 3.30, so we'll probably eat around like 5.36, so it'll have time to sit. And I thought I would show you guys the recipe because I make this probably, I normally like um, meal prep this once a week and we keep it in the fridge just because we have tacos so often and I just snack on it. It's like my favorite thing ever, I love salsa especially this recipe. This was like my great grandma's recipe and then my mom made it for us growing up and we always have it on like every holiday and we just always have it in the fridge, it's so good. So what I do, um, two cans of diced tomatoes. Sometimes I like to use one can of diced and then one like fresh tomato, but we don't currently have any. I'll use like half of a red onion, some lime, garlic, cilantro, and then I do salt, pepper, cumin, and then like some garlic, salt, onion powder, like whatever you have. I normally love like the chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's, but my parents don't have it, but it's okay. This still will be really good. And then I just put it in a blender and it's ready in like literally five seconds. So 
I'm gonna put all this in and I'll show you guys like how much I use of everything and I'll show you guys it. I can't show my stomach less, but that's just how I have it right now. Where'd you get that? It's really cute. Zara, isn't it so cute? Yeah. Okay. Just kind of like got all the stems off of the cilantro and now I'm trying to open this can, but I can't get it. So let's see. Um, God, I literally can't get this. What the hell? <laughs> I'm like about to break my hand off. This is like about two cans, and then I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna literally put all the cilantro in there like that. I don't really chop anything up because the blender does it all for you. I'll do like half, but I'll chop it up like in big pieces because, again, the blender does it for you and then I've got three cloves of garlic and I just peel them and I'll toss it in their hole. Okay. We've got a lot of salt and pepper. Ooh, that was kind of a lot. It's okay. Looks like this and then I just put the lid on here. Okay, so I normally just do like medium and then I like all the way pureed. We like it a little bit chunky, so this is good. So it literally takes like five seconds in the blender. Then I get just like a little glass container and I'll pour it into here. And I just keep it in the fridge literally all week. It's so easy and it's so good. It's so much better than like jarred salsa. And also sometimes jarred salsa has like a lot of added ingredients that are like not the best for you. So try this out. Let me know if you guys like it. We've been making this for years and we love it. <laughs> really? Um, just got out of the shower. Thought I would show you guys. I need to brush my hair. Holy crap. Started using this new moisturizing cream from Orbe and I really, really like it. I've used it a few times and I've just added it. I used to use, well I still do, this leave-in conditioner. Um, but since I've been like in the sun and stuff, my hair's been a little bit more on the dry side. So I spray this. After the wedding, I think I'm gonna take my extensions out for like, honestly, maybe for good, we'll see. I don't know, I have like a love-hate relationship with them, but I don't know. It's like I love them, but then I also like, want to be able to just like pull out my hair, brush my hair, throw my hair out without the track showing and all that stuff. So we'll see, but I've been loving the color. This is the best brush ever. The UPS guy is here and Finn is freaking out. You guys can probably hear. That's kind of what I've been doing for hair. And then I also have recently started to like up my game on like body care. I feel like I take such good care of my skin, but I never like put any type of like moisturizing or serums or anything like that onto my body, which I need to start doing. So I've been trying out this brand, which I am obsessed with. I actually use their um, face wash. I have it in the shower, but I just love this brand. I don't exactly know how to say it balm I use and then their body oil if I'm like really dry this is really good if you're gonna do like body lymphatic drainage if you have like one of the tools sorry the dogs are literally freaking out this is good to add like oil into your moisturizer but it's already pretty oil based and this is an anti-aging balm so I just do a few pumps and it's like pretty you can kind of tell it's like pretty oily and I'm just gonna put on my legs I always do it like after I shave or Things like that. This stuff smells like just like a spa. It's like such luxe body care. So check them out. I'll link these two products I've been loving. And then also when I ordered those products, I got a little sample of the Sea Biotic Water Cream. And I've been putting this on my face and it's so good. Bad dog. Hey, Grandma. <laughs> oh my God. Mom ordered these straws. These are the same ones that I have at my house. I'll link them for you guys. They're so good. They're off Amazon. No. There's 12 of them in a pack and I love them for like my coffees and juices. Oh, you know what this is. You know what this is, friends? What is it? This is that. <laughs> this is that. Oh yeah, baby. This is an espresso. 
You take that upstairs and you put that in my machine and you wake up in the morning and you didn't have to leave the bedroom. Will you go put that Smile. up Smile. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> What are you eating tonight for dinner? Oh, hey, no bite here. Kick you, kick you, I want to the first Where's your blue shirt? This is not a blue shirt. A computer, didn't you want a computer? Yeah, he wants a computer. I saw. Ask Tom. I saw. How about you save up your money? What? <laughs> Show him what you just bought. Mark over there, back there, Mark. He just gave Danny these light bulbs for two dollars. <laughs> and guess what? I wanted those for my room. Can I buy them from you for three dollars? No, not three dollars. What? Oh no. What? What? It creeps. <laughs> Mom, Papa saw that. <laughs> Grandma saw. Mom, Mom, what are you doing? It's freezing in here. The real Linda. Fake. Fake. Okay, back off. What are you doing that for? <laughs> like to show them their face fucked and put them on. Yeah. Dad, what's the real one though? He acts like he doesn't do shit. Where, where did you go? And he's looking at that shit all the time with the bottom of the pot. Gotta go. It's in the way. Some exercise it's not a machine. stretching machine that my husband doesn't use, but it's in there. Just add the dog to the mix. Is stage. Real, real Linda. That's real enough. Linda. You missed the real enough. Linda. <laughs> so loud. That's enough. What can the sun say? Mark is trying to ask you the time the sun says. Shut up! Mook! Mook! He says, he has, he has Siri. We're leaving Wednesday morning. And then what is that? Saturday. And we Saturday. check out yeah. Monday. What's the third Friday? Oh God, we drove for three days. Okay, <laughs> so this is what was happening. So the house is like, at least she can't just walk. What are you doing, Danny? Oh, in my car. You guys, look at these jammies I'm wearing. These were gonna be the day of pajamas for all the girls, but I'm actually changing color. And I got these off Amazon. <laughs> Great angle, but thought I would show you guys. Hey, uh. Uh, I have to show you guys something that my dad did. Oh no. My dad did this bright and early this morning. All right, so this is my car. This is my old car. What dad did to the car? Wait, it looks kind of good. I wish I would have got it hanging. This morning he had a doctor's appointment super early and he backed up and he got way too close to this side of this thing. And he completely tore off the bumper. So we called Geico and they told us to. So. They told me I'm taping it up. They got for duct tape. This Can't is. Tell Dad, right you now. need to make like a wall or something. What the hell did I just tell you today? <laughs> I gotta dig it out, but it, Jesus. Abane Lapa. Install. Password. <laughs> Password. Oh no. Neither do I. <laughs> End off the video. Show them your new lamp. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Wow. Let's see, show them how you change it. Tell them we'll link it below. I'll make them close their eyes. Okay. Their eyes are closed. Right, ready? Wow. Okay. Alright, now they're close their eyes again. Do your favorite color. Oh, Papa, come on, man. Oh sorry, wrong color. Okay, sorry. Can you not see? Uh, <laughs> you have your glasses on, why can't you see? And it is that blue. Wow, look at that. Man, what's that? And that's too much. It's pretty cool. Look at your Tom Brady. You got a oh, lot of really? posters in here. Oh, tell it. I do. Okay, I didn't get quite get that, but hey, we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Just <laughs> hands my message. I'm pretty poop. Start to start. Boom.